Hello and welcome to round one front nine action of the 2024 edition of Huck Central, presented by Discraft and Down South Discs. The event is held at the Grand Central Disc Golf Course in Central South Carolina in cooperation with Pickens County Parks and Recreation. One catch cam today is Tommy Patterson. Drone footage supplied by Jonathan Winro. And the commentary team is Ryan Ulmer and Ryan Mon. On the card today, we have Evan Smith from Raleigh, North Carolina. Micah Groth from Woodruff, South Carolina. Ryan Mon from Simpsonville, South Carolina. And Rico Garcia from Bowling Springs, South Carolina. Hole one is a par three, 320 foot shot that presents two significant challenges. First is the elevation over the hump and then the drop, and then second is all these pesky trees in the way. You're going to see some spike hydras of the right side or some forehands to the left. First up we got Evan Smith throwing a forehand with his uh, ginger I believe, similar to a raptor. Looks like he peered the gap. Mm -hmm. Oh no. I know that happened a lot this weekend. If you like hit the, hit the down slope, it just tends to roll to those backwoods. Mm, physics will do that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Micah going Raptor. It's like a pretty flippy Raptor. Stood up nice. Mm -hmm. yep. Sit down. Yeah, great shot. Yep. I'm going with the new Kaiser over the uh, right side. I found it to be a little more consistent. The forehand kept doing what Evans did and just kept going away. So this one comes down on a sharper angle and normally sits. I use the back end hits that little bit higher tier, so hopefully it doesn't have quite. Oh, all right. Well, it sat nicely either way. Mm -hmm. Rico gonna let you go the same route as me. I think with a Scorpius. Mm hmm. Great shot. Mm hmm. Your Papa Gregio sighting. Mm hmm. Hands in his pocket doing nothing as usual. Evan. Ooh. Ooh. Good flowy bid. I like this distance right here to start a tournament. Um gives me a lot of confidence if I if I can make the mm -hmm. feels like I'm properly warmed up if I can. That's right. Yeah, nice strong side. It's the rhyme on strong side right there. <laughs> Here you go for birdie. Mm -hmm. um, and it's almost like you want that little tester range just to, like you said, just to make sure you're warmed up rather than a drop in necessarily. Yeah, I feel like I've heard that a lot. Um, like right in this range where Micah is, where you still have to think about it, where it's like you still have to do an actual, actual stroke with the butter. You don't just drop it in. Mm -hmm. um, or it's like if you were where Evans' disc is right now, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I was just, obviously, I'd be happy with the shot off the tee box. Yep. But I wouldn't like to have this putt to get my round started. Hole number two, par three, three hundred and forty-three feet. This is a uh, natural righty forehand shot. You definitely want to uh, just. Get past this V tree on the right, right here, and cross the ditch. Anything across the ditch is bonus. Uh, you'll definitely be putting. Um, that ditch normally gathers most uh, low and short shots. Mm -hmm. Also, a pretty substantial hill behind the basket. If you're willing to run the putt, you can get a pretty nasty roll away. Micah going with the same Raptor, I believe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Very nice tree. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to go with a force, try a little more angle on it, and uh, trying to get the skip over the ditch, or if I land in the ditch, out of the ditch. Not put enough angle on it. So a little early? Mm hmm. It's gonna tag that one right there, yeah. Well, not too bad. Still no, it should be up and down. Pretty right? simple up and down, yep. Yeah. Rico going with the Firebird. Overstable forehand disc is definitely the play on this hole. Backhand turnover is the play to park it, I think, but forehand's the play to just take the putt, which I think most people are gonna do on this one. I think the forehand just leaves so much room for error. You know, it, the backhand, I mean, you got the ceiling, you got the turnover, you got the landing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seems like much more of a finesse shot backhand. Yeah, forehand takes a lot of variables out of it. Yep. Going with the same ginger. Mm -hmm. Early right. right. Hit the same one I hit. This leaves a pretty easy approach for a little just Annie jump putt. Mm -hmm. And with this, especially land on Annie, it's just going to filter to flat. So, yeah, that's really good. Yep. Char, are you even thinking about running this, or are you just laying it up? Not really. I try to lay it up, and it Ooh, really boy. short, and it rolls back into the ditch. Oh, no. Yeah, so it's about seven feet in front of Rico. Oh, no. Not ideal. Double ditching. Mm -hmm. Rico for his birdie. Oh, front row banger. Myself for my par. This one is, uh... Well, you said you wanted some testers to start the round off. I got it. There you go. <laughs> Strong side again. <laughs> yep. Davidson almost said yeah too early. Almost spat through. So. The signature Ryan Mon Strong side. Mm -hmm. Micah for the only 2-2 two to two start. Yep. This is a really good, this is a really good birdie on this one. Hole three is a par three, 245 feet, uh, dead straight with a little bend off to the right, but the basket is behind this Medusa tree. Either a forehand in front of it, a forehand around it, or a backhand to the right of the Medusa tree will, will work. I think you'll mostly see the forehand that ends just to the right of it and give yourself about a 20 footer. Might get going with a zone. I think the zone type disc is going to be the most common play here. Rover stable approach disc. Yeah, that's what you want right there. Mm -hmm. I'm also going with the zone. Trying to really focus up and hit this angle right since I missed the angle on the last hole on the forehand. Looks like that'll work. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Rico going with the zone. A little higher than ours. Made by design. <laughs> Either way, it worked out. Mm -hmm. And my, and uh, Evan's going to go with the Mint, which is Clash's overstable approach disc. Ooh. 
Just like edge of circle or so? Yeah, I think it's around the 23 foot mark. Yep. So you guys looked out and got some caddies. Mm -hmm. Well, I got Davidson who finished up in M1. Same with Allen. Rico got Allen who also finished up in M1 right before this. And I believe Evan and Mike have got some of their friends to come down and caddy for them. It's always nice during a tournament. Mm -hmm. nice. I'll save that little bit of energy. Mm -hmm. Nice star frame. Hole four, par three, 260 feet. Um... Usually people were throwing a slight turnover with a forehand or either a, a putter or a mid straight shot um, just to get inside the circle. This one's definitely kind of weird because both options are uh, are good plays for sure. Forehand is the parked play, backhand is the just give yourself a putt play. Um, but the forehand you do, you do got to control the speed a little bit more going down that hill. Mike is going to go with the zone. This one looks really nice. Oh yeah, that'll do. I'm gonna go with the same zone as well. In my opinion, these uh, hole three and four feel kind of similar, but also different at the same time. Um, this one I feel like it's a little harder, just because the rough is a lot more. I think you got to keep it. that that disc a little straighter on this one than the previous one. Mm -hmm. You know, the last one you can just power hyzer it, and this one you really have to let it stand up a little bit. Yeah, this one you got to have it hold straight for a lot longer than the last one. Rico going with the same zone as well. Sneaky. Sneaky. So sneaky. Oh my oh, god! Oh wow! I forgot about that. Wow. Oh, man. It's <laughs> like Evan. making Tommy dance down there with the catch cam. Yep. Evan going with the mint. So everybody going with the same. This is the last hole. Yep. I like that. Oh, pushes. yeah. Yep. Oh, sit. Ooh. Almost on the next tee pad. Wow. Oh, man. We're a really good shot, though. Long putt for birdie. Mm. Oh, no. Not quite enough chains. Kind of weird one here. Pretty short, a little downhill. It's not something we really see too much. But. Nice. At least you quit with the strong side. Mm-hmm. Mike, Mike to go four for four? Yeah. Yep. Very nice. <laughs> Birdies for three of our competitors and a par for Evan. On to one of the scarier holes. Hole five, par 380 feet, island hole. If you don't make it on the mulch. Inside the rocks, you are OB, and you have to go to a drop zone that is in, uh, behind the road. So either touch backhand, slight anti-flex forehand, we'll do the job. Mate. Really anything you can get onto the island. I've seen jump putt, I've seen tomahawk, I've seen about everything on this hole. Micah electing the putter backhand. Needs to chill. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. saved there's, by the rock. Yeah, there's one rock right there that sticks up, so. I'm also going with the backhand putter. Going with the Challenger OS. This one I used to putt with, so it's pretty beat up, pretty flippy. Now, is that base plastic, or mm -hmm. what plastic That's is that? putter line, so it's pretty understable. I can throw it like that. That was probably 20%, maybe. and Very nice. Honestly. I think controlling the speed on this one is the biggest key. Mm -hmm. Rico going to show you the forehand play with the zone. Yep. Very nice. Forehand, you can kind of just 
control the angle a little better, I think. I think going premium putter. Also, kind of surprised me a little bit. I think the premium putter doesn't grab the ground as well, but if you can throw it right, you're fine. I like the little soft ante at the hand. Yep. Another nice. All four on the island. Ooh. And all four on the island is not too common of an occurrence. Um, I think for, for most cards out here, I think at least one person probably missed it. Yep, oh, of course. It's just. I think at any division, this is definitely a, a huge star frame. Mm -hmm. It's just a, it's just in that weird distance range to where people, uh, people like on our card, can easily could probably jump putt it, mm -hmm. but just the jump putting just makes you mess it up a little bit more and don't put enough angle or put too much angle on it. Yeah, you're not on the island, so. Hole number six, par three, 250 feet. Got two gaps, the drone showing the right gap. Nice little putter shot, forehand or backhand for most of these guys. Uh, I think the backhand's a little more open because it doesn't have that one tree on the left like mm -hmm. the forehand does. Yep. Looks like a little inside. Yeah. Yep, just gonna stay yep. like that one, but it'd be fine. It is one, there's just one tree on the right side I'm aiming at and just having a hyzer with the zone. I wonder four. who made that custom T sign there. I don't know, it might have been me. It's like outside. Nice. Mm -hmm. I think that's a play. Hug that right side the whole way. Yep. Rico going with the Reco X. It's a little more oversell with Reco. Gonna pull it a little bit, it needs to get through. Oh, baby. Oh, it's gonna find OB. A little long. I think you missed this line pretty good on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot to add in the well, you forgot to add in the flyover. There's a creek down the right and behind it, but for these guys, shouldn't really, shouldn't really matter. It's okay, man. Going with that uh, a little inside. popcorn. Uh, yep. Yeah, he went understable putter and Heiser still kind of just flipped up in the road the entire way. Yeah. Right? Micah for six through six. Oh, <laughs> dead center band. Mm -hmm. Still a great putt though. Oh yeah. So really can't be mad at that one. Rico for his par. Nice bar save. Evan for a birdie. Definitely don't want to walk away with a bogey on a hole this short. No, even the par feels a little... Like not, a bogey, not, yeah. not too great on this one, just because it's just right there in front of you. But there's still a little, a little danger to be had. Mike is going to drop in his three. Hole seven, par four, 630 feet. Uh, there's two landing zones right here to your left, or go past that one to the other pin right there, and then you come up the hill. There's a couple more trees taken out when this, when this drone flew over, but still a pretty pretty tough hole. I'm electing to go with the first landing zone, throwing a buzz, and the uh, road does play as a river, and there's a river on the left side. This one is ridden with OB. Alright, looks like a pretty decent angle at it still. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a forehand in the pin. Evan going putter or under the same landing zone I am. I think you'll probably see putters are mid to the first landing zone and fairways to the to the second one if people want to do that. I think that landing zone is a little difficult just because of the distance wise. But I think the majority of the players are going to go for that landing zone you see right there. Yeah, they're not going to get aggressive and go towards that uh, second area. Mm -hmm. 
Mike's going to go with the buzz to the... Because most of y'all have the distance for the second shot to get there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. All day. Playing it closer to the road gives a little more cutoff angle, but gets you it's very similar angle. Rico going with a fair... It's rock, like a it's rock yeah. X3, sorry. He's the same color as a T-Bird and a Rock X3. I ah, gotcha. Trust in it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Ooh, looked like you got a little nervous there when you let that one go. Mm-hmm. And then go with the forehand of this pin. I like the forehand because if you get a kick, it's going to kick straight down. Uh, the backhand wants the kick and glide to the left after more. Has a higher chance of getting on the road. Looks nice and wide. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Wow. That would have been a disgusting eagle. Yeah. I'm going with the force here. That'll do. Mm -hmm. Edge a circle or so. Rico going with a, a force as well. It's just one middle tree. You just got to get as close as you can, but to the back side of it. <laughs> yep. Gave it time and it worked Gave out. Gave it time. <laughs> Mike going with cap wrap. This is a really good drive on this hole. He's like almost to the other landing zone. Mm hmm. With a mid. Yep. Now he was the only one that threw understable off the T pad, though, right? I would say it's more neutral than understable, but definitely helped with the little flip up to ride. Here's myself for a birdie. Boom. There's Very the, nice. There's the real strong side. Rico for his birdie. It's kind of a he's in other words stance. I believe he said there was a turtle below him. There was. I saw it there the day before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When we moved the basket. Yep. He said he was trying not to hurt it. <laughs> Old Myrtle. Also, it's a really odd stance. Maybe some low Monkey wind. straddle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with that one tree right in the way. Straddle uphill is always a tough one. Mm. Oh. Micah for his birdie. Mm -hmm. um, Six down through seven. And Evan for his birdie after an almost evil. It would have been very nice to see a two on this one. Yeah. We'll skip in two. Yeah. Especially with all that debris on the ground to mm -hmm. skip it. Yeah, it had to be a faster driver to skip. Oh, yeah. And somehow hit a clean spot. Mm -hmm. Rico, only par on the card. Hole number eight, par four, 504 feet. Um, right off the tee pad, you immediately have to go uphill. You're wanting to land just inside these two pine trees right here. You want to be able to throw a full shot as your second shot to be able to get anywhere near the green in two. Um, most of these guys are probably throwing putter or mid at most off the tee pad, just a placement shot, and then trying to throw more of a power shot, second shot. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn over forehand here, actually. Um, the back end for me just felt a little odd. I kept pushing the back wall. Mm -hmm. This one kind of turns and then pans with it. So, and I think you don't really have to throw that far. Just more about placement to be able to, you know, like I said, rip that second shot. Yeah. That one's a little unsized. Oh, but, oh boy! But that—that that was the thing I was saying with the forehand is it hits the branches and gets to a hyzer angle yeah. and hyzers back to the fairway. That's right. Or if I threw the inside with the back end, it's hyzering into the woods. So, Evan's going with the mint.
little wider, but that'll work. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Might have to stand on a little uphill lie, but still straight down the hallway. Yeah, on this second shot, you're really not going to get a flat lie unless you push super far up the fairway. Like with the Buzz OS. And Rico with the Gator. Is that a Withers Gator? Mm-hmm. Well, it was like 2018. Extremely overstable. Yeah, that's a really Most of them are puddle top or at least flat, board flat. Is a Wraith here? Tough spot to get aggressive from. Ooh. Tickling the right side. Mm -hmm. Does that stay in the fairway? I don't remember. I think it might be just on the edge. Unsure what Evan's throwing here. Looks, looks like a mid fairway driver. Looks mid range fairway. Oh no. That's not a good kick. I'm going with a Ziglo Raptor, a Monster Shrimp one from last year. Evan and Jake's like fundraiser disc. It's a pretty neutral Raptor for out of the box if, you hit on, if I hit on the right angle. It's got some good turn in the beginning and then fades, but I just put it nose up. It's so like just a little high only. Mm -hmm. Pretty good angle, just wrong height. Yeah. Wow. Looks like it fall through pretty hard too. Mm -hmm. Got a good little kick back to the left, so I got some little scramble shot. Mike, a forehand vulture. This one's pretty understable. Oh yeah. Mm, just in just inside over. the right corner there. Yeah, I think Evan's just gonna play a jump putt out of here. Smart play, I think. There's not too many gaps to get aggressive with over there. Yeah, just plays it back to the middle. Just gonna concede the bogey in this one. If he can get this one up and down. Backhand approach is not what I would have chosen, but throws it to perfection. Scrambly. Mm -hmm. That's good though. That'll do. 15 footer. Yep. Here's myself. Looks like you got a little bit of a gap there. Yeah. So there's like this one tree behind the other small tree you can't really see. So it makes the gap a little smaller, but. Nice out. Yep. Take a tap in from there all day. Mm hmm. This one's not a bad par. It's, it's a pretty difficult one, but it's not too difficult to get a par on. Yeah, I think the par 4 version of this whole eight is a little bit more difficult than the par 5 version. Mm hmm. On the par 5 version, you can get further off the tee than where the tee pad's placed mm -hmm. on the par 4. Should be a bogey and three pars. So we move into one of the harder holes in the course. Three out of five, dead straight par three. Initial gap, maybe 10 feet wide. Next couple one, maybe seven feet wide. And just doesn't really get, doesn't really let up at any point except for right here where the other pin placement is. And then goes down another little ridge right there. Um, I think backhand straight shots really the only play on this one, maybe a forehand. So we're on the left for the other pin, but. Now we did take uh, three trees out on the left side of the second part of the gap right mm -hmm. before that long pin. So it's a little bit wider, but still a very difficult shot. It's still a very tight gap. Oh yeah. I'm going Nate Dobbs TI Buzz. Oh, yeah, baby. 
Well, yes, sir. Leaner, baby. Yeah, that one. Right after you talked about how difficult it was, you just loaded us up for that one, huh? That one, that one was the best clean <laughs> shot of the weekend, I think. <laughs> Nothing like hitting a dead straight gap shot like that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, boy. A little boy. early. That's not good. No. That's... Par uh, be a rough scrambling from par, there. Par is unlikely from there. Mm -hmm. If you don't make this first initial gap, par is very unlikely. You don't, you don't, you don't see too many just kicks to the middle. Mm, Rico hits the same tree Micah does. Very similar spot. Having a little with a putter here. I like the I like the putter play. You can give it the height. Not now, is that the popcorn he used earlier, or is that something so. different? I think it's. I know he has two popcorns in the bag. Okay. They're both orange, so that doesn't really help us. But looks that nice. looks pretty solid too. Yeah, it's ace running. Oh my god! Yeah. Did not think we would see one go long here. Nope. Rico with the road runner. Tough shot here. Looks easy on the camera, but he's very outstretched. Mm. Mm. Should be a pretty simple bogey, though. Micah also looks pretty simple on the camera, but he used to go through this little gap that we can see right in front of us, I think, to even try to get up and down. Yeah. So like it made it most of the way down there, that, at least. Yeah, that might give him a bit, I think. At least a circle two jumper or something. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Good run. Tried man. to save his par. Yeah, here's Micah for his par. Let's see. I mean, look at that. He didn't have too many He's, options there. You know, it's... You know, you know, you know the ref is thick when he's lining up a tomahawk with his putter. <laughs> Very demanding and rewarding hole at the same time. I think after a couple of years of these brand new holes getting kind of broken in a little bit, they'll play a little bit different than they did this weekend. You know, fresh cut in a month before. Mm -hmm. I do, I do like the changes a lot. On uh, this, this long one's good. The next hole's a shorter basket, and uh, eleven has a longer pin. I do like those changes. Boom. Um, so shout out there. to Brian Shop for getting all this stuff done before the tournament for us. Mm -hmm. Town of Central, yep. Pickens County, all them. Two birdies, two bogeys. That'll round out the front nine. And a drop in. Yep, we got me at seven under, Mike at five, Evan at four, and Rico at three under. We'll see you guys on the back nine.